Hi, my name is Larry Lee, and I want to invite you to check out my interview for Bass Players Only. I'm a former NFL player, NFL executive, and uh, full-time musician at this point. Larry Lee, how are you doing? I'm good, John. How are you doing? Good. Man? It's great to see you here in Detroit at Detroit Bass Fest 2013. Yes, it's an honor, man, and a privilege to be with, with guys like Quentin Berry, Doug Johns, and uh, Chuck, the world-famous Chuck Rainey. Oh, yes, sir. yeah. Well, let me tell you, I've interviewed uh, over 200 bass players, well over 200 bass players, and I can't think of any of them that had any experience with the NFL. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah. Still today. But uh, b before we get to that, tell me about your musical upbringing. I'm very interested in uh, Well, I'm born and raised that. in Dayton, Ohio. And uh, those music folks uh, that know funk music know that, uh, you know, Dayton, Ohio is called the land of funk. We had about eight or nine uh, groups that made it national out of, out of Dayton. Groups like uh, Lakeside, Slave, uh, Heat Wave, Roger Troutman and Zap, Ohio Players, Sun, Faisal, all of us kind of come from the same neighborhood. So uh, I grew up in Dayton in the 70s when all those groups were, were on the scene. And um, and then Dayton at that time, uh, no matter what you did, if you were, you know, trying to be a lawyer or aspiring uh, accountant, a football player, whatever, you played a musical instrument. It was in the, it was in the high school systems. Uh, in a major way, and we also had, uh, you know, like Detroit had the Battle of the Bands and, and all those kind of things going on. We Dayton has always kind of mimicked uh, Detroit, and we were like the little D. So all that was going on uh, growing up, and so I started doing two things in sixth grade, play football, play the guitar. Uh, they said, Larry, you got to play ball or, or play music, and I said, well, I'm going to play ball. I was pretty good. I was an All-American football player in high school, and so I, I went to UCLA on a football scholarship, and I uh, put my base down during those years. I got drafted by the Detroit Lions in 1981. I played five years with the Lions, three years with the Dolphins, and two years with the Broncos, and I didn't touch a bass during that time, and uh, but you know uh, I would still love the bass and, and listen to all. The, I'm a music nut now. I I've always been in touch with music, and I uh, probably got a CD collection that's out of this world. Um, but so I was in the front office after my playing days. I was vice president of the Detroit Lions for nine years. Um, Man, uh, vice, pre vice president of football bass. operations Bruce. during the Barry Sanders years and all that. So. I did all of that, and like I said, Matt Millen was hired by the Lions. He came in and fired all of us, and uh, I thought that I would get hooked up with the next team, and it really didn't happen, and then uh, I followed my passion. I, I picked up my bass again and fell in love with it like all the panelists and Chuck and all the guys were talking about. I fell back in love with my bass, and so I started playing it, and there's a local blues guy named Robert Penn, who I became good friends with. Uh, when I first started playing my bass, Robert said, Larry, come play with me for a year, man. Get your chops back and that kind of thing. So I did that. I played with Robert Penn for a year and a half, and um, I got got the bug. So I went around Detroit and started finding various musicians from different groups, and, uh, and I started my band called Larry Lee, and back in the day, we're in our 13th year, and we've been blessed, man. I've, I've been around the world. I've opened up for a lot of, uh, you know, from Chaka Khan to Earth, Wind & Fire to the Isley Brothers. But I've also done a lot of good things. Uh, that football world has helped me. I did the Pittsburgh Steelers Super Bowl party three years ago with my band. I've done uh, former Commissioner Tagliabue uh, in the NFL. I've done his parties with my band. So the NFL is being good to me. Now, in this sense, because I, I do a lot of high-end corporate corporate parties all over the country. Tell me something about inside the NFL that that most people just don't know. Um, inside the NFL that most people don't know. You're on the team. You're on the field. You're playing. You're in the locker room. Well, you're on I the gave road. A story you're... about you know in the lock how I met Robert Penn. The, uh, the guitar player is, we were in a huddle, a TV timeout. You know, they call timeout so they can get their commercials in sometime. 
And at the Silver Dome, Pontiac Silver Dome, there's a band that used to play in the end zone. I did that once. Did you? Okay. Uh, when I was yeah. in high school. Well, it was down there with, uh, uh, and they had this orchestra. And we're in the huddle, and they give the guitar player in the orchestra a solo. And me and Billy Sims and Gary Danielson, some of the older lions, we're sitting there going, man, that guy is killing it on the guitar, man. And I'm, we're jamming in the huddle to Robert Penn. So later that day after the game, I run into him in the tunnel, and I say, hey, man, I'm, I'm Larry Lee, you know, number 64. I'm a bass player, you know, but um, I just I heard that solo they gave you in the third quarter. Man, you were killing it. So we became friends, and so that's one of the NFL things, you know, in those huddles, man. Any and everything might come up in those huddles, especially on TV timeouts. You know, we might say, hey, you see that fine chick up in row five, you know, that, you know. All that kind of stuff is going on in those huddles. Yeah, that's so that's a little NFL talk. Yeah. All right. All the music stuff, all the football stuff, the sports stuff. What's next for Larry Lee? What What else would you like to do that you haven't already accomplished? What else would I like to do that I have not already accomplished? Well, you know, as I said earlier, <laughs> it would be awfully hard to find something outside of football and music that I would want to do. Uh, those two things. I started doing the sixth grade. I'm 54 years old, and I still love those things. Uh, uh, I, I what I do say now is football was then, and music is now. So I, I am a I am a music nut. I absolutely love music, all types, all genres. I listen to it all, um, and I, I'm really I'm really overwhelmed that. Um, you know, I, I tell this story. I've done shows with my band, festivals, and I, I walk in the back, and, and you know, backstage, and there's a trailer on the left that says Chaka Khan, and there's a trailer that says Larry Lee, and I go, huh? Mm -hmm. You know, really? So I, I'm loving what I'm doing. Um, it, it's it, it's a blessing. So I can't think of anything else to answer your question outside of. You know, those two things that I would love to do. And I'm, I'm one of the guys um, on this earth that the good Lord is blessed to be able to do the two things you love and make a living and a pretty good living at it and, and have fun uh, and get paid while you do it. So I can't, I, that's it, John. I can't really, I can't really get, answer your question outside of those two things. And they, they've carried me my whole life. I think you answered the question pretty well. Larry Lee, great catching up with you, great hearing you play, and we look forward to lots more. In the Thank meantime, you. much luck and continued success to you always. Thank you so much. Thank you, man. You too as well. Thank you.